done. Hey everyone, this is Jennifer Beamer, owner operator of Actually Diet Art by Science, and today is day zero of the Tour de Fleece. In this video, I wanted to kind of lay out what my plan is for Tour de Fleece. Now, if you don't know what Tour de Fleece is, it roughly parallels the famous cycling event that goes on in France, the Tour de France, but in, oh my god, Lila. Take two. <laughs> and this is the Tour de Fleece vlog episode number zero because I am outlining what my plan is for this particular event. For those of you that don't know what Tour de Fleece is, essentially it mirrors the sports event called Tour de France where cyclists do a long three-week tour of France with a few off days in between. A lot of spinners take this opportunity to put forth before them a different challenge than something that they normally would do, uh, mainly because there's a long duration. And for those of you who like cycling, uh, this is a really great um, comparison event to do in conjunction with the actual cyclists. There's a lot of information out on the internet about Tour de Fleece because this is not the first year this has happened. Um, what I am going to do though is tell you what my particular challenges are. If you're a viewer of my live streams, especially the recent ones, you'll know that I put a lot of time and energy into my business, into my home, into all the kinds of work that I do but I don't really invest a whole lot in myself. And when I do, it's usually quite sparing. And so I've never really given myself the opportunity to actually do something fun for myself, especially since I first started uh, doing my master's and then PhD. I'm actually graduating on July 21st, which is near the end of this event. So I thought it would be a fun thing to do for this month and to maintain my accountability doing these spins and then posting little videos. I am actually making sure that I, act I have time for me, which is the thing that um, I, I really need to work on for uh, 2022 in general. So what better way to kind of tie all this together than to create a mini challenge within my overall crafting New Year's resolutions this year and actually uh, do something for myself. As part of the Tour de Fleece, there are loads of teams that you can join in and as a member of the Leicestershire Spinners and Weavers Guild, I'm going to be posting there regularly. I'll also be posting to the Facebook group, which you can also find via the link down below, and also, obviously, on my channel. The last long spin that I did was actually my New Year's Resolution yarn, which you can see here. I finished spinning this merino earlier this year, and it's just been sitting. I haven't even finished it at all. It's just got spun, plied, skeined up, and then thrown into a bag. And um, I've been waiting to sort of see what I want to dye the colors before I actually begin doing my sweater. But since it's only halfway through the year, I still have plenty of time to actually get my sweater yarn dyed and then uh, begin the knitting process. But um, I just wanted to uh, point out that it was 1,502 yards for this uh, particular spin. So if I've done that as a three ply, that's uh, quite a lot of yardage here. here. And the, the cyclists themselves also do a lot of um, mileage as well. So that's sort of the other element of Tour de Fleece where you're spinning and producing a lot of yards and they're cycling and they're moving a lot of miles. Now, I know that I said at the beginning that this was mostly going to be about me doing something for me, but I also wanted to do a little bit for you guys because I have quite a lot of this Gulf Coast native wool that I dyed. And there will be a video on how I dyed this um, at the, on the channel at some point. 
don't know when. <laughs> maybe now, maybe later. Um, and so I have 278 grams of this. So this is all dyed and I put it in one large roving and I'll just basically spin this probably into a, a traditional three ply which will then be some kind of project in the future, but least of which it's going to be one of my fiber talk reviews. So that's the first thing that I'm going to spin as part of this challenge. The second thing is this beautiful Cormo that I bought from some farm in the States and I've dyed it. Lots of beautiful uh, rustic colors. I keep getting this early autumn feel even though it's June 30th today filming this so I think what I'm probably going to do is find some kind of pattern where I could use uh, maybe this with some other yarns that I'll be making as part of this event maybe maybe I'm going to go with a blanket I'm not sure but a blanket would be really useful because I live in the UK, I'm constantly cold, and even though it's supposed to be a beautiful summery day, it's like in the 60s and raining. <laughs> the third thing that I will be spinning is this beautiful Shetland that I dyed in the lock with my new dyes. And I've carded it with some sari silk and a little bit of angelina. It's already super incredibly soft, but I wanted to um, kind of bulk it out a little bit because there wasn't a whole lot of the Shetland and um, it didn't have the same texture as some of the other Shetland that I have. So I thought, well, why not just blend in some silk to give it a little bit more visual character. I have no idea what I'm going to make with this. But I am sort of thinking along the lines of some kind of shawl, because I love wearing shawls. And red is a really good color against my skin. Um, if you look at the number of sweaters that I have, they're mostly reds to purples. <laughs> I'm hoping to rectify that with them. Um, this project. I've promised myself I'm not going to select any of those warm tones. I'm thinking maybe along the lines of blue because because some blues and greens can look really good against my skin as well um, But yeah, so I'm going with Some kind of shawl maybe something a little bit lacy or even a little bit chunky because it's going to have that whole range of shawls uh, and I have a couple of lacy ones and only one Okay, I have two sort of thicker triangular shawls that I'd like to wear. I also might be interested in something that is really long um, because I have some that are short and they kind of like come down and cover just like my chest region, but I might want something that is even longer than that, that actually I can really wrap up into. Uh, so we'll see um, how things go during this event. But one of the other things about the Tour de Fleece is you need to be focused on the spinning, not on the prep work, because as an athlete, you are doing all of your prep work in the time when you're not part of the Tour de France. And so when you're in the event, there's no room to do extra training. So this kind of follows in, in kind. Although I may have to break this rule because I have this big bag of Portland <laughs> and I'm going to cart up some to put into the shop but I also might need to dig into this and maybe produce some hand spun for the shop as well um, as part of this event because I'm actually quite a fast spinner and so if I'm spinning every day I actually might run out of prepared fiber. <sighs> Okay, so that is basically a summary of what I'm planning to do for Tour de Fleece. 
I'm going to try really, really hard to stay on task doing some filming and putting up a video, a short one, probably only a few minutes each day, just kind of showing you how I'm going about the process. But also, especially for this Gulf Coast native, I got a lot of requests from people asking me to actually film myself while I'm spinning it as part of the fiber talk. So it would be good at least to have lots of this spinning footage available for when I get around to actually doing that fiber talk. What I want to know out of you is, are you going to be partaking in the Tour de Felice? And if so, what team are you gonna be part of? You can actually be part of lots of teams. And actually what I love about this event is because it's a very personal, sort of challenge. It doesn't really matter if you're part of one team or a few teams, if you're just doing it for yourself, if you're just posting it to Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. I think it's a way to help you hone your skills if you should uh, desire to do so. And it's kind of like a fun challenge that you can look forward to every year without necessarily having to do something on your own or drum up interest with friends or fellow spinners because we're all kind of doing it at the same time. So it's part of that community-based spirit. So hopefully if you haven't already uh, joined some team for Tour de Fleece that you join up with the link that I've given you below um, or doing it alongside me. So if you just wanna tag me into a post I'll give you a like or heart or whatever it is that uh, you're linking me to. But anyway, uh, that's it for me today and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks everyone. Bye.